That was funny. Okay, take it down a second. Good luck. Action. What gave you the idea to make up this whole thing? I um, started Sunshine Arts in 2002. And I started it because, um, well, partly because of the way that I grew up. I grew up on a farm in Missouri. I'm one of seven children. And when I got home from school, my mother was um, always there. I know that most parents are not able to be home when their kids are getting home from school. The situations are different, times have changed. And I wanted to bridge that gap and create a safe haven and some place for kids to come. I, I started first just teaching classes and reaching out on my own because I, did, I was started when nobody else was living here. And I would go around the neighborhood and try to assemble as many nieces and nephews as I could to follow me around like Pied Piper and bring kids in and would, would read stories around the fish pond out front. I used to go around the neighborhood with the girls and yeah. you know let all the kids know and then kids just spread word to other kids and kids would get their cousins kids you know yeah. to come and, cousins and like kids cousins from other cousins. townships were visiting their cousins and were coming here and it was it was pretty it's, insane at first. It was like, yeah, it was I mean, cool. My sister Greeny was visiting in town. She, her children were with her, and one of whom is Miranda, and she helps out with the website now. But we had several kids that we gathered from the family. And we made up drums out of coffee cans and threw beans in them, dried beans, banging on like a, a metal pan and a wooden spoon would make a great drum. And we lined up and walked up and down the streets and banged on pots and pans and just told people that we were going to read a story and we'd love for them to come up with us into the yard around the fish pond. And it grew into a community art center by inviting my resident artists in. Like what kind of passage do you want to For me, since the inception of Sunshine Arts, I have said and still feel that everything that we do is art. We started with just reading stories and sharing them. So we have a filmmaking class. Acting also, there's painting and drawing, and music, and pottery, and horticultural, and gardening, dance, and ballroom dancing, and belly dance, capoeira, and yoga. I think we did a reading series. Cooking. After seeing all the kids that come here, what do you like most about them? That's huge. <laughs> I love everything about them. I love the artwork. I love seeing it. But I love the interaction that I see with the kids. I like the independence that I witness, uh, the growth in the children, and the respect that each one of these children come here with for each other and for this place and for Kat and Patrick. The love and um, giving that all the kids bring and show. A few years ago um, at our fundraiser at Sunshine Arts when we had it on a Thursday evening, um, all the children got very involved and uh, the parking lot that we use is about a block away. So the kids were at the edge of the parking lot inviting people in, I mean physically, with their waving their hands to wave cars into the parking lot, and helping them park, and then escorting them from their cars to Sunshine Arts, and through this whole thing of bringing them here and escorting them back, and all these tips were going to the kids from these people who found them so charming and wonderful. And um, by the end of the evening, all that money got put together in a hat and it was brought and presented to me here um, in during the party and it silenced the room and we counted every last penny and I made a list of 
how many dollars, how many fives, how many nickels, dimes, and pennies came in because it was just such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, and all the kids felt that it was meant to come back to Sunshine Arts. That's the generosity that I'm talking about with these children. Thank you, Miss Sheila. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Sheila. Thank you, Miss Sheila.